Submarine cable networks provide the University of Hawaii system with capacity to share data with our partners, not just within the University of Hawaii system, but across the nation and across the globe. Satellite, radio communications, while they may provide some of the real-time nature or some of the real-time support that we require, they simply don't have the bandwidth to support these research projects and these education projects over over a practical period of time. The nature of the research that's supported includes astronomy, includes climate, includes um, genomics, uh, medical, cancer research, you name it. It goes across all of, the, all of the different practices within the institution. So critically important to make sure that Hawaii, in fact, is not an island when it comes to research and education but in fact can um, our researchers, our educators, our students can collaborate with folks across the nation and across the world via these high capacity submarine cable networks. Our astronomy assets, for example, typically generate petabytes of data over a single night's observation. A great example, a few months ago, the announced imaging of a black hole. So that was done with astronomy assets located not just here in Hawaii, but across the globe. In the past, many of these collaborations were literally throw the stuff on a disk drive and pump it in a FedEx box and wait for it to show up in the other location. Such a pleasure to see you all. It's critical to the university's core mission in terms of outreach and, and really educating the not only the, the people of Hawaii, but also the, the peoples across the Pacific region. Many of these islands are, are hundreds or thousands of miles away from another landmass, and the, the ability for them to, to communicate using high capacity and high bandwidth technologies that submarine fiber cable systems can offer is absolutely, I think, is absolutely critical to make sure that we can do the best job that we can do for, for the University of Hawaii as well as for our global stakeholders. One of the great investments we've made over the past several years is to purchase capacity on an IRU basis on CUS. CUS gives us the capability to, to connect not only to the continental U.S., but also out west to Guam. And then from Guam, the large number of submarine cable facilities that connect existing countries into Guam, as well as the um, the number of, of systems under construction now. In particular, and of particular interest to us, are Japan, Guam, Australia, North and South, and Hong Kong, Guam, which really helps to fill out the region with high capacity connections that were simply not available to us in the past. Most of these systems that are on Guam are probably 10 years old, and with the investment that RTI is making in these cables, I believe it, it's something like 12x the capacity that these cables will bring in. There are existing systems that connect those points, but capacity on that, those systems is number one, limited, number two, um, not really well priced to, to fit well into a research and education mission. Before all the academic institutions were were treated like they were outside of the family, and they never got the pricing, the terms, and all the benefits that the big companies do. And RTI doesn't distinguish between the OTTs and the Tier 1s, the Tier 2s, and the academic institutions. We treat everybody equally. GTA and RTI have made a, uh, a mutual investment in uh, what effectively is like a 12,000 square foot facility. GNC is actually one of the great things that is going to happen in Guam over the next few months. 
currently under construction, slated to come online in the first quarter of 2020. GNC will give, frankly, all of us the capability to connect into a carrier neutral facility on Guam that is cross-connected to the various submarine cable assets that reach out across the Pacific to points east and west, north and south. It's also not just about pure capacity, it's also about resilience and the ability to withstand some of the events that nature or perhaps man-made events may, may toss our way. We've got a great example um, just in our backyard. Joe, customers of Spectrum, both residents and businesses, are feeling the impacts. One of the three cable systems running into Kauai Island was severed uh, about a week ago. And that single outage, because it was commercial capacity going into the island, the single outage caused significant impact to the population and in fact, to in some cases, to public safety as well as for banking and commerce. The ability for us to connect at GNC in the next few months gives us not only the capability to have all of these systems interconnected, but really gives us the ability to provide um, a high level of both capacity and resilience to all of our downstream customers.